I guess Lindsay here with Stray Rip Family Farm. So this morning, I swear, it was as if all of the animals knew that I had hurt my shoulder yesterday because literally every single set of animals that we have decided it was the perfect day to act up and basically act a fool. So I actually had issues, first off, with the turkeys. So the two male turkeys that we have, they actually decided that they were going to interrupt the ducks and geese running from the barn over to their little um, pasture area. So they ended up standing in front of the ducks and the geese blocking them from getting through. Well, then they decided to follow the ducks and geese to get into the paddock area, which they can already do anyway. So, I mean, it's not like it's, you know, some big new thing that they went in there and stuff. Well, all of the ducks and geese got in the paddock except for one. One was, like, running behind because she was scared of the turkeys and whatever. Uh, her name's Dory. She's, you know, like Dory from Finding Nemo. There's a reason that her name is Dory. Um, she gets lost a lot. She forgets what she's supposed to be doing. Um, so here comes Dory. She was walking and stuff towards the pasture area because she remembered that she was supposed to be with everybody else. And then the turkeys happened again. The two boy turkeys, they ended up charging towards her, scaring the bejesus out of her. They tried to fight with some of the other geese and stuff. And then the goose, she, Dory, she came running out, was running all through the uh, snow here, laying down everywhere and stuff. I ended up, today's a school holiday, so Willie didn't have school. So I ended up having to get a hold of Willie to have him come out and help me catch the goose. Because I had already thrown the two male turkeys out of the pen multiple times and they kept jumping back in there and terrorizing the geese and I had to take care of the goats and it was just it was ridiculous um you know farm life drama and stuff so then he came out he helped with that we got the goose caught we put her back in everything. and then all of the goats decided that since their routine was thrown off that they had no idea who I was anymore they had no idea what was happening what planet they were on if it was time to eat or if it was time to sleep, they had no clue. And I was like, my God, like all that changed was the order of who got taken care of first ever so slightly, because instead of immediately getting let out after the ducks and geese, they obviously had to wait a little while because I was busy trying to catch the ducks. Well, trying to catch the goose, I should say. But yeah, it was just, it was absolutely insane. I was really, really grateful that Willie was home from school today because like, I have an old softball injury from back when I was in high school that never healed. Uh, I, it's probably a torn rotator cuff. I don't know. I never got it, like, scanned and stuff. Um, you know, when I was a kid, they had said something about that I probably needed surgery, and I panicked and, yeah, didn't go back, really. Um, but anyways, so I'm very prone to injuring that shoulder, and because there was so much overhead sawing that we did yesterday, um, it's really aggravated. But I will walk you guys over. It's kind of neat too because like right now like as you can see behind me everything is covered in snow so it's like ah here's winter time and just a few feet away suddenly it becomes spring so it's kind of kind of neat to watch the transition of winter to spring um to have it so such a such an actual line it's kind of neat but um so we ended up getting a lot of snacks here for the goats um, so it's a pile that's about three foot high and probably four foot around. Um, so that's going to be a lot of good snacking for the goats to have. Man, my arm is really sore. Um, so we're going to end up working on feeding this to them um, throughout the next couple of weeks and stuff. Um, they really like the pine needles. It's also supposed to be really good for like as like a natural dewormer and I think antimicrobial for their gut system or something. I don't know. The goats love it. They go bananas for it. So the goats get what the goats want. Um, so we ended up, the only thing that we couldn't get cut, which we have a pole saw that we just haven't, we didn't break it out yesterday because we were getting really tired because it was really cold. We have this branch up here, which it's actually really, on camera it doesn't look like it's that high of a branch, but it's actually pretty high up. Um, it's probably 10 feet above the ground. For a lot of these branches that were a little bit too high for us to reach, since I am a couple inches taller than Tracy, I uh, pretty much just leaped up in the air, grabbed him and stuff to hold it down enough that she could then grab it so that I could walk over further up the tree as high as I could reach to then saw. That's how my shoulder got kind of jacked. Um, but so we ended up clearing out a huge area that gives us a much bigger, much bigger place to plant stuff and it gives the bees a lot more sunlight exposure and stuff. But like, honestly, guys, like this is just it is a huge transformation. I've been resting my arm today um, as much as I possibly can. You know, I even had to like, like it was to the point this morning I ended up having to brush my teeth with my left arm. It was kind of ridiculous. 
all well, thanks to you know having bad joints and stuff like life's always an adventure i suppose but um so i've been actually just resting and sitting in the living room and i was reading a book and i kept looking out the window because everything over here it just looks so vastly different because it's no longer you know super overgrown and stuff and then we also got the um maple tree we did get that completely taken down yesterday so we just have that small piece of stump there um and we can't really because of the uh t-post that you know is grown into the tree we can't really cut any further onto here because there's just it's just like an inch or two of space right there so i couldn't couldn't get any further on that but we did process the wood more so we have that nice little start of firewood um for next year that's probably only enough to last us like in the dead of winter probably like three days maybe four days at most and stuff so it's not not anything you know super huge or awesome but it did get the tree out of here so that way we have a lot more clear line of sight um which is nice but you know it was nice having the privacy so that way we couldn't see you know so much traffic going in and out of the neighbors but it is what it is it's more important for us to be able to really maximize the whole two acres that we have here and be able to grow as much as possible um so we aren't sure what exactly we're going to plant right in here because we had learned yesterday when we were working on cutting up the maple that even though you know there wasn't really hardly any snow that ever fell over here and stuff like it was still super super soupy and we haven't had any rain for a while so it was kind of alarming that it's still that wet so it's definitely going to have to be something that can handle having wet feet all of the time because i assume that there's probably another spring that runs back in that area because of just how deeply saturated it was because like just from the few minutes of us walking back and forth on it, there became legitimate puddles and stuff. And like I said, we haven't had rain for a while. And due to the pines here, um, when it did snow, like we got a couple inches of snow, but due to the pines here, a lot of it just stayed up in the air and on the pine needles and stuff. So it didn't actually really get much coverage over in this area. So definitely, definitely got to consider things that can handle wet feet for in that area. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to go take a rest because even just holding up the camera right now, like it's really bothering my arm and stuff. So hopefully in the next few days of resting, it'll get all healed up because we are planning on doing some work outside again on Wednesday because it's supposed to be, um, I think like a high of like 55 or something like that. Tracy doesn't work Wednesday. So I mean, it's going to be really nice weather to get a lot of things accomplished. So I really need my shoulder to be cooperating. That'd be... That'd be great. Um, so if you guys are enjoying our content, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on social media. If you haven't already, please subscribe to help us grow. We greatly appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.